Are you tired of boring podcasts? Are you tired of paneled and structured podcasts that make you want to watch paint dry? Do you want to listen to an adult-oriented show? Do you want to hear words like f***, <laughs> or personal favorite, <laughs> jungling thunder, <laughs> Droids Podcast, offensive and off topic since 2012, insert unnecessary explosion. What the, come on, god damn it, hold on, and... Oh, oh shit! Michael Bay! To get radioactive treatment, go see your local physician after listening to this podcast. To listen to further podcasts, go to droidscanada.com. Droids Canada Podcast. Please stand by. Take three. Take three. Take three. Is it going to happen? <laughs> Are we actually going to get through this podcast? You <laughs> wouldn't have shut up during the last you one. You shanghaied it. I, Do I, you not I admit at one point I shanghaied it. You, one point? At one point, yes. One? I admitted to shanghaiing it on my Tim Hortons rant. <sighs> so what's this episode about? This episode is about Michelle Rodriguez was recently under fire. And... It hurts me to say, I agree. I, I agree, too. <laughs> I agree. She recently posted a, um, I don't know if it's a blog or a video, we watched the Aftermath video. Yes, it was It was the, the kind of apology. I think she originally had posted it on Twitter. Right. Let's see um, if I can find that. Um, she basically st- stated that because of this whole white minorities in Hollywood thing, it's so stupid, said 36-year-old... Uh, actress stop saying all oh, the white people superheroes make up your own and this is goes beyond this this is just finally someone saying stop stab stab <laughs> and this is something that i've been talking about for a long time as well like i'm, I'm i don't care like, it's not a matter of race or anything to that no. effect it's just sometimes changing something is not in the best interest it's the idea of the story behind it and and it's this whole we have to be PC bullshit is what Gotta it is. Be PC. We we have to be PC. We have to include, you know, everybody and, and make it happy, happy for everybody. Cause if you don't, someone's gonna get offended. I'm offended that you're offended. Yeah, and I'm offended that you're offended that I'm offended. Oh shit. Yeah. Four words that people can offend everybody. <laughs> hey, I thought it was good. It was good. <laughs> um I, I, this goes back to and this is splitting hairs and say what you would like but this goes back to even when michael clark duncan was the kingpin it was not a good suit and it has nothing to do with the fact that he was black he was hot at the time because of green mile yeah and they're like well he's a big dude let's put him in and that was basically it who else are you gonna put into that role um someone else that actually can act the role because Uh, to me i i agree but they, they, you're right. They did, you know, uh, aside from him being black, he was the perfect size. Well, yeah. He was the right build. Well, mind you, Kingpin in the comics is fucking huge. Massive. He's massive. Like, th- that doesn't even do it justice. But without CGIing him into that movie, <laughs> that's the closest fit you're going to get. We need to add 50 more pounds around his neck. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, like he was a big he, dude. He had but no fucking neck. No yeah. neck, and he was a, like in the comic book, he was a very fat dude, but he was a very fat, muscular dude. Yeah, and that kind of made him into, like terrifying yeah. because I mean, Daredevil had so many run-ins with him, and anything he would do against him was borderline ineffective. But then you had Michael Clark Duncan, and this is, and, it, and it's not just that; it's just anything in general. It's like, well, well, this guy's hot at the time, so maybe we should use him. Not always the best mm-hmm. of ideas. Like, look at Catwoman as a shining example. And it's going to sound bad because Halle, Halle Berry. Berry was black. It has nothing to do with Halle Berry. She was just haunted at the time. And they're like, this is going to work. Let's put her in. And, then and it was they, shit. And it was absolutely <laughs> shit. They were just, just trying to no rush one, it out. No one talks but about you know it what? Catwoman's not talked about. But when they do the formula correct, everyone thinks the movie is shit. 
like Ray Stevenson was the Punisher in Warzone. They portrayed the real Punisher, and everyone's like, this movie is shit. It is too violent. Have you not read a Punisher comic? <laughs> Where have you been? This is the real Punisher. Well, Tom Jane was better. Well, Tom Jane is Punisher was a PG-13 Punisher compared to what the Punisher truly is. But now it goes into the newer part of the storylines is everyone's freaking out over Spider-Man right now. Spider-Man getting getting the okay, you know, going from... What, Which is Mar- great news. What, Marvel and Disney back to Sony. Yep. Yeah. Getting back oh, into the, the, way Mar- around. the MC or the other way around. It's the other way around. He's going from uh, Sony. He's got permission to be in the MCU. MCU, yes. And that's huge because now we get to see a huge storyline, which I never read before. I read it on Thursday. Um, I read the entire Civil War series. And I think it'd be pretty fantastic. So now, now the big debate is with with Spider Man going to the MCU. Is it going to be Peter Parker or is it going Peter to be- Parker? <laughs> <laughs> I had to because I actually remember those comic books and they started Dude, introducing. I, I brought them. it up earlier. I know off, off, off mic, and at that point it was Peter Porker, the Amazing Spider Ham, absolutely is, hilarious. Yes. And then of Spider course it spawned the us talking about the entire Spider Verse. Um, oh yeah, because you know what? I never realized how much you well, you are a Spider Man fan. I I am not a big Spider Man fan. I, I know of it and I'm familiar with some of them. Have I read them all? Hell no. I'm more... See, here's the thing. When I was a Spider-Man fan, I was a Spider-Man fan during the McFarland days. And because of that, that gap was bridged over the spawn for me because I was already a diehard McFarland yeah. fan. And then when Spawn was born, as a Spawn? black... Spawn? Spawn, Spawn. As a black superhero... Oh. Oh. Who is pretty fantastic. <laughs> see? That formula worked. It did. They didn't try changing... Well, they did in the comic book eventually because... Al Simmons committed suicide and then, but, but it, it, they didn't replace him because they needed to replace him. They just did a storyline arc. But now with Spider Man, they got this guy named Andrew Garfield. In my opinion, plays a good Spider Man. I think he uh, plays a I, good Spider Man. I, I didn't mind him as Spider Man. I thought I thought the 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 two reboots were better. Better than um, Tobey Maguire. Better than Tobey Maguire's. He to me uh, as like, a Spider Man, I prefer Garfield over over Maguire. I felt like he played more. Yeah, he, uh, he felt like Spider Man. I just thought the storyline in the second one with Electro sucked ass. Yeah, well, the, no one's yeah. perfect. Yeah, <laughs> but see, that's a that's a character that was doomed to fail anyways. It doesn't. It didn't matter that Electro was gonna be black or white or Latino. The character was just so badly portrayed, like, built from the yeah. get go. Like it didn't matter uh, who played I, him. And I'm still a fan of the classic costume. Oh, the the, uh, the green, green, the little fucking starfish on his head. Yeah, exactly. Like that's the way we were brought up with Electro, and then we get this like neon blue friggin' semen at everyone. Take my cum, take my cum. Oh my god, it was weird. It hurt my head. The concept behind it, I'm gonna give him kudos because it was fresh and it was new. Poor delivery, poor execution, but we got to see Gwen Stacy die, which upset me because I'm a huge fan. Of Emma, and she is not good blonde. She no. is always going to be a redhead to me, which is very upsetting. But now, going into this, Miles Morales is not in Civil War whatsoever. It is Peter Parker. <laughs> and they're like, well, we're going to make a Miles Morales. But why? Why do you need to change it? And it's not because it makes sense. It's because it's going to be the PC shit. That's yeah. what it feels like to me. Yeah. Why, why don't you bring in Spider Gwen while we're like? You got Spider Gwen. Spider Gwen. You have Film Noir. Uh, you've got Silk. Yep. You got, you got Spider Woman. Spider Woman. You have the British Spider Man. Yes. Um, House of M. Twenty nine. Peter Parker. Spider Man. There you Spider- go. Yeah. Like, Imagine that. That would fuck Peter everybody. Parker in, in Civil War. Why do we make Captain America black? Wait, we did. Oh yeah, they He's did. Falcon. <laughs> Falcon now. Yep. But that makes sense. That, so that's that different. crossover made sense. That story arc. That story arc made perfect sense yeah. on why that happened. And the Thor is now a female thing. That's a completely different can of worms, which made sense. It, it wasn't it was like a story di- based. But it, it was story arc, arc based. And that's the point I'm trying to make is that they're Hollywood just changing things up because they're like, well, this person's hot right now. And it doesn't matter if they're black, white, or whatever, blah, 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 blah. blah. We're going to put them in there. And then it's still going to upset the universe, though. Yeah. It's like I don't know why they had to have this conversation. Like, should it be Peter Parker or Miles Morales? I'm like, well, storyline wise, it's yeah. Peter but we Parker. all we all know how storyline works in Hollywood when it right. comes to comic books. It doesn't <sighs> because they they need to make money. That's right. And, and they say, oh, we have this well established story from twenty 
you know, 15, 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. Here's, you know, a year and a half of the writers that, that have this story. It's all laid out for you. Yep. It's perfectly mapped. Yep. Nope, we're not going to touch it. We're, we're going to say, you know, That's, we're going to make our own. Hollywood could be... And, and, and it goes to what Michelle Rodriguez is, is that people need to st- stop being lazy. Stop trying to change things the way they are and make your own shit. Yep. Like, I mean, you want to have a Latino or a black superhero... There's lots of them. There's lots. Pick one of them or make your own. Yeah. Absolutely make your own. Like, look at Birdman. Birdman is a fantastic movie. If you haven't seen it yet, I, 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 I do recommend it. I'm not. Fantastic film. Um, Spawn was his own character. No one changed him around. No. He works just fine. But, We're not going to talk about Green Lantern. <laughs> well, that's where to go to is the reason what spurred off this whole debate is Michelle Rodriguez was being asked to be a Green Lantern. That's well, what started it oh, all. Well, that 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 can spawn, and, and that kind of goes into similar to the Spider Verse because the Green Lantern Corps is huge. Yes, they are. There is a wide variety. There's not just humans. There's all kinds of alien races in there. So technically, a Latino yeah. Green Lantern is perfectly viable. Yeah. Is there a storyline on one in the comics books now? No. No. Could very easily be though. Absolutely, there, there could be. Like, I mean, there's many different ways you can go with that. You know, you but had it just Hal felt Jordan. Like... Then, then the next one I believe was black. Yeah, it was. Um, a, it was a black and, lantern. You know, I, I was never a Green Lantern fan, but I know that they did change over the years. Um, but Lantern wasn't marketable though. They 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 put Ryan Reynolds in, which because he is was hot a, at the time. He is a heavy hitter. When he touches a movie, everyone will see it because he is Ryan Reynolds. And even with Ryan Reynolds, they were like. Meh. It's yeah it because fucked. because at that point the story behind it sucked, and I don't I'm not saying Lantern's not marketable. I've never sat there and go, oh, I absolutely need to see a Green Lantern film, unless it's Fillion, then I will see it because Fillion <laughs> makes anything good. Fillion's good, but, but yeah, you won't watch Castle. <sighs> Got too many shows in the go right now. Oh, don't even fucking y'all! <laughs> no. I'm gonna punch you right now. <laughs> punch you right in the fucking mouth. But I. I just feel like, the, and I have to agree with. There's a lot of valid points, and the fact that she took so much fire from it, so she's not allowed to have her own personal opinion now. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is the internet. Yeah, welcome into <laughs> well, This is the internet. Flame We're wars. not allowed to have her own fucking opinion. God yeah. forbid. But, not, uh, God, the internet's been created for two reasons: jerking off the porn and bitching about everything else. In the oh, world. don't forget posting cat pictures on oh, on, on uh, Facebook. Oh, good. You remember yeah. that joke? Good. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Yeah, I was watching that episode at midnight. <laughs> it's a great one. I think it was to the creator of the internet what he didn't see coming. It was the cat pictures. Cat pictures, yes. Cat he pictures. saw porn coming, but not kittens. <laughs> not kittens. No. Well, it made perfect sense about the porn. Like, everyone saw that one coming from a mile away. Um, I just feel that we, we spend so much time trying to change everything when you can just perfectly leave it alone. Like, yeah. Suicide Squad wasn't a huge thing. Like, I mean, they changed Deadshot to be black, which is Will Smith. But it wasn't an end of the world kind of thing because yeah. Deadshot is Deadshot. Not many people cared about Deadshot, right. like to begin with. So, should they have left him white? It doesn't matter. Why not really? get the guy who played Deadshot in Arrow? Yeah, eh, that kind of goes back Probably, to that topic and no, Flash and oh, everything else. You don't want else. to use the proper people to yeah. do things. Yeah, because well. you know eventually there's going to be Green Arrow in a Justice League movie, and it will not be a Mel. No, we Which know. Is, uh, we know. We so know. frustrating. We, we've had this discussion before. Because it comes down to sometimes Hollywood needs to look outside the box of, okay, we need to have the Brad Pitts and we need to have George Clooney. It's like, remember the time George Clooney was Batman? He was Batman? What? <laughs> no. And his nipples. Oh, wow. And then Arnold Schwarzenegger's like, we got to have a Mr. Freeze. Why? Because he's hot. No! <laughs> Freeze. <laughs> it, it's, so when we look back at this, it's not about race or sex or anything. It's what Hollywood's like. They're hot. We have to do it. It's not always a good idea. No. Even Jim Carrey is Riddler. Uh, nah, he's Richard on acid. No. Bad idea. No. So that's pretty much all I had to say about that. I was yeah, just kind of like, yeah. I, um, do Do you want to talk about the other the other information about Catwoman, and, and kind of what's going on there? Sure. Uh, I don't know if you want to touch on that. What's up? Um, the the recent, you know, panels and everything in the comic that that she is now effectively out of the closet as a bisexual. Doesn't surprise me. I mean, it, the way how her character has always been portrayed in the comic. And uh, keep in mind, when of... you look down at this collection, this has been amassed <laughs> only in the last year. Yeah. But I mean, just from what I've been reading, 
it doesn't surprise me. It doesn't change how I look or how I feel towards Catwoman. Right. I mean, Catwoman has always had a thing for Batman, but I mean, at the same time, though, it's not surprising. Like, but, but it's wait, gonna go, it's why, gonna go. why hasn't Twitter blown up about this? Because Twitter doesn't care when two girls kiss or have something out of a cup. Oh, oh, <laughs> but when it's two dudes in the Why are we going back dead? to that podcast? Well, that was two podcasts it, that's, ago. That's the idea. Why are we going back? Just to, to revert. Are we taking this back? No, we're, we're not taking, taking this back. back. But yet, you know, Catwoman coming out. Everyone and, and all the geeks and everything appear to be okay with that. There's no because problem. Because they don't care. You, you were talking about Barbara Gordon as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, as, as Batgirl and... Well, know. she wasn't Batgirl. This is the mother. What's that? This is the mother. Oh, okay. This is the mother. So the mother, which is just... Will be eventually James Gordon's taco bump. Uh, yeah. Where I'm going with that. She is now... We were sitting on her podcast. Now she's was gay at one point. Now she's reformed. I don't know. Um, doesn't matter. Like I mean, I like I said in the other the other podcast, it doesn't change how I feel. Because I mean, I look at it as oh, that relationship was obviously an affair or whatever. Whatever. It's not like oh, it's two girls. Right. Like everyone. It, this <laughs> you would open that can of worms again. Um, <laughs> I always will find it humorous that two gay men. Two men have a relationship. It's considered a sin. To women, unless it's a Baptist family. A Western cons- Baptist Church, I think it is. <laughs> it is not considered a sin. Because at least Western Baptist Church or whatever have their shit together and consider everything as a sin. And there's no great lines. Like I, I'll, I'll show you a video later. And it's fantastic. I'm not saying I agree with them whatsoever, but they don't go... Eh, they don't pick and choose. They're kind of like, no, no, you're all fucked. You're yeah. all going to hell. Yeah. We're, and it just goes back to society because, I mean, we, we watch these TV shows. Like We, we are the MTV um, generation. We watch much music and sex sells has always been a huge thing. But never did you see a music video two guys bumping and grinding and kissing. Never. No. But if it was women... That, that music feels okay. sold. And it's perfectly fine. And how many times did you watch Electric Circus? Quite often. Exactly. You weren't watching for the music. No. No. <laughs> Unless Daru Sandstorm came on and then you bust out in the groove. Oh, maybe. Everyone busts out to Sandstorm. Everyone by Daru. Not so much but, anymore because it might break a hip. Oh, tsh, you're not that old yet, are you? Oh, I'm getting okay, there. For, Jesus. Built hasn't, uh, your beard hasn't wilted yet, well, so we're the okay. Be- the beard is fine. It's the knees and the hips. But anyways... <laughs> That's the end of this podcast. Jim Chaka. Game over, man. It's game over. Thanks for listening to the Droids You Are Looking For podcast. Stay tuned for next week's podcast. Remember, the Force will be with you always.